In this video, we will discuss the process of linear approximation, also known as local linearity. Let's look at a graph of f of x, this parabola with its tangent line at x equals 2. The point of tangency is 2, 0. The tangent line we can either label as L of x or T of x. When we are near that point of tangency, when we are near the point 2, 0, f of x is approximately equal to L of x. This value, the actual f of x value on the parabola, is very close to the tangent line value within that range where we are close to the point of tangency. So we can use the tangent line value to estimate the value of the actual function when we are near that value. This is useful in a situation when we don't have information about what the actual function is, but we do have information about the tangent line. f of x is a differentiable function. Given that f of 4 equals 7 and f prime of 4 is negative 2, estimate the following values. So first we need to come up with our equation for L of x or T of x. So we know that our point is going to be 4 comma 7 because we're coming up with our tangent line point and we know that f prime of 4 is negative 2 so m is going to be equal to negative 2. The reason that we know that the point 4 7 can be on our tangent line is because at the point of tangency the values for f of x and the values for the tangent line are exactly the same. The tangent line and the actual function share the point 2, 0. So now we need to write our equation in point slope form. And now I'm going to switch it to slope intercept form and label it as L of x or T of x. So now I have L of x equals negative 2x plus 15. So when we are estimating the value f of 5, we're going to say f of 5 is approximately L of 5 because 5 is pretty close to 4, so we can use that tangent line to estimate the value of the actual function. f of 5 is approximately L of 5, which is negative 2 times 5 plus 15, or 5. Now we will approximate f of 4.5. f of 4.5 is approximately L of 4.5, which is negative 2 times 4.5 plus 15, which is equal to 6. Now let's find f of 4.1, or rather let's estimate f of 4.1. f of 4.1 is approximately L of 4.1, which is equal to negative 2 times 4.1 plus 15, which is 6.8. That's how we use the tangent line to estimate. If the graph of f is concave down on the interval from 2 to 10, are the above estimates over approximations or under approximations? Concave down means that the graph looks like this. Concave up means that the graph looks like this. So in this case, we are dealing with a graph that is concave down. So this means that our tangent line would look like this. In this case, our value that we estimate at the tangent line, so if we're saying the value, the approximate value of the function is right here, and we are taking that estimate on the tangent line, it's going to be a bit of an over approximation because the actual function value would be lower. So in this case, all of the above estimates are over approximations because the graph of f is concave down. The table below shows selected values of the differentiable function h of x and its derivative h prime of x. Write the equation of the line tangent to h of x at x equals 3, then approximate h of 3.2 using that equation. So when we write the equation of the line tangent to h of x at x equals 3, we're going to need a point and a slope. So the point that we can get is 3, 5, and we know that our slope, or the derivative, at 3 is 1.7. In this case, I chose to use t of x instead of l of x. Either one is completely fine. And it's asking us to approximate h of 3.2. So h of 3.2 is approximately t of 3.2, which is 1.7 times 3.2 minus 3 plus 5. And then most likely when you're doing tangent line approximations, you are not going to have a calculator there, which means that you're not going to have the calculator to do those basic math skills. 1.7 times 0.2 that will be equal to 0.34. So it'll be 0.34 plus 5 or 5.34. Assume h of x is concave up at x equals 3.2. Is the previously calculated approximation an overestimate or an underestimate of h of 3.2? So if the function is concave up, we have h of x like this, and then our tangent line is like this. So when we estimated the value of 3.2, we were getting a value probably right around here if this was x equals 3. This means that our actual value would be higher than what we got. So our estimate was an under approximation or an underestimate of h of 3.2. Now let's connect what we've learned to second derivatives. Remember, second derivatives are just the derivative of the derivative. 
when the slopes are decreasing. So it, over here on this graph, we originally had a slope of like maybe 0, 0 0.8 or 0 0.75, and then we have a slope of 0 0.5. When the slopes are decreasing, when f double prime of x, or the second derivative, is less than 0, the slope of the slopes is negative, a tangent line estimation produces an overestimate. This makes sense because if f double prime of x is less than 0, if the slopes are decreasing, we have a graph that's concave down which means that when we have our tangent line, when we draw our tangent line, it's going to produce an overestimate, something that's higher than the actual value of the function. When the slopes are increasing, it was 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 0 0.9, the slope is increasing here. That is when f double prime of x is greater than zero. When the second derivative is positive, a tangent line estimation produces an underestimate because if we have our tangent line here, this graph is concave up, so our tangent line will produce an underestimate from what it really is. Let f be a function that is differentiable for all real numbers. f of negative 2 equals negative 7, f prime of negative 2 equals 5, and f double prime of x is greater than 0 on the interval from negative 4 to 4. Part a says write the equation of the line tangent to f of x at x equals negative 2. So we have a point on the tangent line, which is going to be negative 2 comma negative 7, and we have the slope of the tangent line at that point, which is 5. So then I will write the equation and label it l of x. Part B says use this line to estimate the value of f of negative 2.5. f of negative 2.5 is approximately L of negative 2.5, which is 5 times negative 2.5 plus 3. This is negative 12.5 plus 3, or negative 9.5. So f of negative 2.5 is approximately negative 9.5. Part C says, is this approximation, meaning the approximation in part B, greater than or less than the actual value of f of negative 2.5? Explain. They gave us some information about the second derivative. They gave us that f double prime of x is greater than 0 on the interval from negative 4 to 4, and that interval includes negative 2. So if f double prime of x is greater than 0, that must mean that the slopes of the tangent lines are increasing. So the curve looks like this on the interval from negative 4 to 4. This means that the curve is concave up. So when we estimated our tangent line value, we were estimating the value of negative 2.5. So if this was negative 2 right here and we were estimating the value of negative 2.5, we would have estimated the value lower than it actually was on the curve. So now I just need to do my explanation for why it's less than the actual value of f of negative 2.5. The approximation is less than the actual value of f of negative 2.5 because f double prime of negative 2.5 is greater than 0. So the curve is concave up at x equals negative 2.5 and the tangent line produces an underestimate.